Persons of Indian origin visiting India will now be issued only long-term extendable visas and not tourist visas, Goa's non-resident Indian Commissioner Eduardo Falero has informed. Mr. Falero has also said that voting rights will be given to non-resident Goans by the next general election. Speaking to reporters in Panjim, Falero, a former Union Minister of State for External Affairs, said that the Union government's visa manual had been revised to ensure that PIOs do not face hardships when they visit their home country. And now, in the visa manual has been revised, and I've, I've put here the relevant portion of that manual, uh, revised manual, which has come into effect, and here it is at Clause B of, of uh, Section uh, 42. Clause B, persons of Indian origin, his or her spouse and dependent children may be granted only X visa. Now it's made very clear to this character, only X visa. And then in thick print is there, thick, not a tourist visa. Don't give them tourist visa. They are entitled to extendable visa, long-term visa, five years visa, which can be extended. Voting rights to non-resident Goans will also be given by next general election, Mr. Falero said. Now uh, the Zanarais will be entitled to vote in the constituency which is where they show their residence in their passport. You see that according to their passports, in that constituency they have to register. And definitely now next uh, assembly elections and next parliament elections, all these person, non-resident Goans will be entitled to vote. Voting will be according to the constituency. They fall as per the passport, he added. I'm the Rajdut ambassador of India in Kuwait. Then maybe protect the general of emigrants or some other senior officials of the Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs. Then the leaders of the Goan community across the world, Munje in Kuwait, in the other Gulf countries, in different parts of the world. And also we'll always put some representative uh, some senior leader of the Indian community in the country.